Libra, what it be, bruh? It is me, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, one time for the one time. To let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2020, show me the money energy. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies. Thank you to every last one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel channel if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading or send any type of love support and likeness and oneness over to my page you can click the about page all right about page you can click the about tab on my youtube page and it gives you all my information on how to connect with me to, on instagram to get a private reading all right um i want to just give a big thanks again to every last one of you guys who have been sending any type of love donation support through bookings or whatever throughout um the month of june we got new decks here this 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 and this these are all new decks that was sent to you guys um for you guys you know so i appreciate all of the love that you guys send because um it helps me be able to paint a different each one of these cards has a different story so um i just thank you so much to be able to paint and put art on this table to help you guys understand the stories that are going on with your life. Um, number one, you know we're going to give thanks to the Creator for everything that He's given us. So, you know, let's give Him thanks. Father God, I just want to come through here and just thank you so much for covering us. Thank you for smothering us. Thank you so much for hovering over us, Father God, as you watch us grow. As you watch us just show you every day that we're just fighting to, like, claim victory over our name. And, you know to wash over the pain that we experience in our life so we can get to the greatness and maximize the potential that we have in everything that we do father god we are just really 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 dedicating ourselves to our abundance and our greatness that we have planted in the inside of us we've learned to not even look outdoors or outwards for blessings or abundance or you know wholeness is within us and the more and more that we you know demonstrate every day that we are the abundance that we are the light that we are the glow everything that comes within our reach is going to glow and shine and it's going to prosper around us and everything that comes to us is meant to prosper and it's meant to last so father god we thank you so much for just you know keeping us heavenly covered in this knowing so that we could just follow in the footsteps that you have before us and we thank you now we thank you today for the many blessings that you have prepared ahead for us that we have yet to reach so father god we thank you again for just bringing us all here collectively give us guidance for the sign of libra thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future um amen all right let's get into this y'all let's get into this hold on i need to take a sip of my coffee i hope y'all understand me hold on now <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's right here by my side, y'all. Yes, Lord. Hold on. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all need to understand what type of creamy deliciousness is up in that cup, child. Now, let's see. All right. So, let's see. Mmm, that coffee just warmed my heart up, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. And the same freaking card just came out, y'all. Listen, I just tried to repeat this video. I just tried to record this video three different times. <laughs> this is the same card that came out. So, God, it's like, listen, you already know what I told you last time. So, we're going to put that right back on out there. It's something that you guys have been trying to ask God for. And I feel like you're having a hard time expressing yourself. Or like you're scared to like really get down on your knees and ask for help. I don't know if it's a pride thing. Like you're trying to do something by yourself. But it's like do not, you know, like humble yourself and just ask. Just ask, like what you're dealing with right now, you don't have to deal with alone. And for this card to pop right back out, come on, God is like really trying to tell you it's something that you need to come to him and talk about. Let's just keep it 100. Let's just keep it 100. I don't know if you guys have tripped and failed on the same mistake that you should have learned from from last time, but it doesn't matter, you know. God sets up landmines for you to see if you're going to trip over them again. And a lot of times, 
he intentionally makes things harder for you because he is prepared for you to fall again. He knows that just because you just went through one lesson that if tempted again, that you just easily just, you know, you just going to break it cold turkey. A lot of people don't work like that. So even if, and I'm not even going to say it like he set you up to fail, but he knew that you were going to fall. You know what I'm saying? He knew that you were going to fall and he's not giving you any test that he doesn't give everybody else. Think about how many times you've seen people in our life, like they've had this structure around them. They do something stupid to destroy it. They be, you know, they're gifted with a second chance and then they fuck it up again. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, this motherfucker, to, you know what I'm saying? Just lost their job again. Just cheated again. Just did something again. You know what I'm saying? Like, it takes time for people to really grasp something. That's why they say once, twice, third time's the charm. They don't just say that just because it applies to you. They say that because <laughs> that applies to everybody. So don't feel like you are ashamed of uh, going through life's trials and tribulations. You know? Don't feel don't feel ashamed. It's like life is set up for us to fail and learn lessons. That's how we're supposed to learn. And if you need help, all you got to do is ask, you know, all you got to do is ask. You're not going through no different than any of God's other children. But the difference between you and other people is that the hard headed ones, they fall victim to their own ego and their own pride because they're scared to ask for help. You understand? Then there's the ones that are not ashamed as many times. Like God has some kids that it don't matter how many times they fall. They always, they don't hesitate to come and ask him for help. So it's like, why won't you? Why are you ashamed? You know? So listen, it says, ask us to help you in the situation. And we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed. By so many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choice and decision. So we are patiently awaiting your request. Again, you have your free will to deal with it yourself or to ask. And I'm sorry, like, I, I, I don't know why they sent there telling me to tell you about the spiritual crackheads. But it li <laughs> y'all listen. Have y'all ever seen a spiritual crackhead? Like, for real, for real. It's like these motherfuckers be out here drinking and drugging, doing the most crackheaded, crazy shit that you don't ever seen them do. Stealing, just... <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? But one thing about it, as chaotic and as drug-infused their life may be, that person knows their connection with God and has no problem with going to church, has no problem with dropping down on their knee, has no uh, problem with spitting out a Bible scripture and stuff. And it's like sometimes we look at these people, we're just like, you're a fucking craggy or you're like a druggie or you're, your life your life is a mess. Like how are you about to sit there and spit um, biblical um, scriptures? But no matter how toxic and stuff people's life is, that's still God's child. You know what I'm saying? And if in all of that chaos, if that person with all their struggles dealing with, with, with drugs and everything like that, and, that, and that's a lot of the reasons why they are so close with God like that, it's because they're struggling with something. And they know they're not perfect, but they can just take it one day at a time. And if they, even with their daily struggle and daily mistakes that they're making with drugs or alcohol or whatever type of thing that they're dealing with. If they don't have a problem to call on God, even in their higher drunken stupor, why the fuck should you feel embarrassed? You should not feel embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? If they can still see and feel the God in them, you should be able to. If they call on God, God always comes. Every single time. Every single time. 
they're no less blessed than you. It's about what you do with your blessings. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't got no problem with asking, you damn sure shouldn't. So let's see. So we got the five of arrows right here. That's like the five of swords. And then you got the six of bows here. So with this being said, you see that goat right there. And you see this man shooting his arrows at the goat. The last time I did a reading with this deck and I and, and this card came out. And it's like, yeah, they 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 try to kill the goat because you're the greatest of all time out this mother. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And then with the six of, what is this, the six of bows? Like, the six of bows represents, like, high-level accreditations. Like, you being honored, you being celebrated, you getting a lot of attention, you know? Like, people praising your name and things like that. So, right now, you guys could be feeling attacked right now. Because you're the GOAT. You're the greatest of all time. People are, like, trying to take you out. Like, people may be saying... They're saying fairy tales and fallacies and lies. You know what I'm saying? Like people are making up stories, making up fairy tales. They're trying to tell other people what they want them to believe about you. You know what I'm saying? So that everyone has their target on you and just throwing these arrows. It's like it's like attack on all angles because you're the you're the goal. It's like you're the greatest of all time. But as you can see, you see how that goat is ducking and dodging them 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 arrows. And it seems like you've already avoided a few of them. But there's one particular person that got they aim on you like for real, for real. And it's because of how you're being celebrated. It's because of the abundance in your life. It's because of the attention that you get. It's because they know that you're the greatest of all time. And they have a problem with it. And they want other people not to like you. I feel like you've been trying to handle this all by yourself, but at the same, and, and, and I feel like you're being, you feel that you know that you're being tested with this six of uh, vessels right here, this six of cups, like this can be someone that's a family member, this can be someone that's a friend, someone that's very close to home to you, you might not understand why they're attacking you like this but someone is most definitely throwing aim, they're telling, it's like someone has some type of secret jealousy or something with this moon right here this moon right here it's like really coming out this time like this underlying hatred and like yeah this three of heart the three of ever like yeah baby jealousy there's jealousy that is coming out and it is being exposed And it, I feel like it's stabbing you in the heart because it's like as things are starting to come back together in your life and things are starting to be more on a giving and receiving angle. Here, this person that you thought was your family member, your friend, someone that you thought that you could trust, someone that you thought you could tell your secrets to, someone that you would have never expect. Next thing you know, this person is like backstabbing you with this three of, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to turn people against you, trying to make people like stab you in your heart and betray you because this person is jealous. And I feel like this might be something that someone might have been holding on for a long time. It could have been since you guys were kids and it might have been something that I don't even necessarily was hidden. I feel like it's kind of been something that's been in your face, but you still continue to love them anyway because this was your family member. They're saying that you you continue to keep playing the game. It's like you continue to keep playing the game with this person. Because you, you know, it's like you have this energy like, I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm untouched and everything I do is great. That's not what you think of you, but that might be what they think of you. And that's why this jealousy is there. It's like... 
no matter how life tries to get you with throws a nasty angle out you it's just like you just seem to leap out of the direction like you never seem to truly truly get penetrated and i feel like that's why this motherfucker hates you because it's like your abundance and like you're the greatest one it's like i'm never that fucking lucky i can't just avoid disasters like that like one day some something's going to catch this motherfucker and this person is not going to be as abundant anymore you know i feel like you guys need to ask god how to help you deal with this situation because regardless if you want to admit it or not like it does really really hurt I, I don't know if this is like I really don't want to say this but I want to say like I hope it's not no family member or no friend or something like that that is jealous of the type of attention and shit that you get from other people around you and like what's soup to wanting to get into in the middle of your affairs and things like that just to hurt you it's like they want the same type of attention like this is what i'm getting like this is someone who don't this is someone that is very very low vibrational in thoughts and things like that it's like with this moon in the reverse like they think very low of their self and that's why their life is the way that it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the only thing they think is negative thoughts and that's why a whole bunch of negative shit comes to them. They see you over here blessed in abundance, getting your life together. You keeping yourself balanced. Everything is coming your way. With the six of vessels right here, everything that you've been praying for, that you've been asking for has been coming to you and you've been reunited with the happiness in your life. This is someone that, like I said, secretly for a long time, probably regret certain moves that they made in their life certain decisions and everything and you got everything that they want this person instead of addressing and them their self asking god to help them reach the level of abundance and the level of growth and 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 and, and help them be the great one like this person is stooped to the level of trying to take something from you that they know that is very precious to you something that you really really want like i'm really feeling like this is someone that which uh, like will try to turn your best friend against you will try to go and be underhanded and try to go for a job or go for an audition or something that they know that you really really want and it's not even that they really really want it it's just like they want to show you that they can do it too with that they're better than you you know because it's like they're jealous like they'll actually go and try to flirt or sleep with your man or go sleep with your woman just to see if they can do it because they're jealous you know what i'm saying and they just want to see if they have the ability to pull off what the fuck you pull off just you know what i'm saying just to and like this type of shit is starting to come out it's like starting to it's about it's start, starting to be blood on the floor now you know what I'm saying? To where so it was like just internal jealousy. It's starting to be blood on the floor now. It's really starting to be blood on the floor now. Give me guidance in regards to this for my star child. They said patience in dreams. So again, patience. Everything that goes on in the dark comes out to the light. And with this moon, with this moon being in the reverse, some shit is being exposed. I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer or a Pisces, um, but something is most definitely about to be exposed. It's naturally going to just come out. Just be patient. And this person is going to show their self because you're going to stumble up on this motherfucker trying to do a sneak attack against you. They just said a hate page or something like that. Like you might be getting attacked in the comic section by like a certain individual and you don't know who this is. Like this person could be behind like a hate page or could have something to do with some type of hate gossip. Like they could have started. They could have been the one that started the rumor. You know what I'm saying? Like telling your business, let, like telling everybody everything that you're doing to make people not like you and things like that. And I really do feel like you're going to feel backstabbed and betrayed by this person. I feel like someone's trying to turn people against you. I really, really do. 
It says be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. Like everything is going to be shown. I promise you. Dreams. And again, intuitively, things are going to be shown to you. So just pay attention to your dreams. As soon as you wake up, if you had a wild ass dream about something, get up and write that shit the fuck down. So you uh, get up and write your dreams down. Because I really do feel like this person is going to be shown to you through your dreams. And you're going to understand a little bit more a little later down in the month about. And I don't even really think it's going to be this month. I really think it's going to be next month. I feel like right now you are just like, what the fuck is going on with this person? Like... I don't really, I feel like you're kind of scared to ask this person, like, what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? It's like, and I don't know if, like, this is someone that you just came back around or if this is, like, again, like I said, a family member or a friend, someone that is very close to home or, I mean, it's like, what is wrong with you? Why it's like everything that you say is like this person got a smart comment or got to be on an attack or feel like, you know, it's just like, what, what the fuck is, is. You know, and it's like you want to ask this person, but it's like you don't want to ask this person because it's like you're not trying to rock the boat. And I feel like this person seems hella fucking sensitive and shit like that. But it says the universe speaks to you through your dreams. Things are going to come out. Things are going to come out. Give me God and say love for my leaders. Lord Jesus. Like this is someone doing some underhanded shit. Like this is someone going behind your back and that's sneak dissing you. Sneak dissing you to other people that's, that want other people to kind of put their target on you to like disrespect, talk shit, and just like not put you in this level of high honor of just being a goat. The six of bows, like, come on, like this person. Mm -mm. What is this? Jane Austen. Let's see what Jane Austen said. She says, None of us want to be in calm waters all of our lives. It is truth universal. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession. Lord Jesus, why the fuck I can't read? Jesus, help me. Come on now. Okay, y'all, excuse me. It says, none of us want to be in calm waters all of our life. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a good wife there are as many forms of love as there are moments in time so they just told me it's something about you not being scared of the depth of romance it's like you will go deep like you will really 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 go deep in a relationship you know, and it's that's something that you know. I feel like you guys have been just like asking for the return of love in your life. And I feel like you've been patiently waiting for this. Um, and you are getting a lot of attention right here with the six of bows. And this is frustrating to other people because it's like, why does this person always get what they're asking for? You know, it's like everything that I've been expressing and, and I've been asking God for, it just turns into fucking walking nightmares for me. Like, why is this person constantly blessed and shit? And only thing I'm dealing with is like heartache and drama and just like peasantry level ass bullshit. Because the three of swords, that's like... Being the third party, being that one-off situation and shit like that. And I just did a reading with someone where that Jay-Z and Beyonce card came out about not getting yourself caught up in one-off situations or with someone that be doing one-off deals and shit like that. If me and you have a deal going on, you shouldn't be having no one-off situation that only benefits you on the side. Don't be making no side deals if me and you supposed to be in an agreement together. That's somebody that I can't trust, someone that got some little side-off situation going on. And that's what I, I'm really... Someone needs to change their energy, and that's the problem. It's like they want to attack you for your blessings and your growth and the acknowledgement and the praise that you're getting, the respect that you're getting right now for you doing what you were supposed to do to change your energy and... You demonstrating the greatness in your life. 
It's like they, your motherfuckers just can't let someone be great. It's like they want to shoot you down because you change and you're trying to manifest greatness in your life. These are some miserable ass, stupid ass motherfucker people. And just like this said, it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of good fortune must want a good wife. Right? I feel like this is someone that will intentionally like try to start gossip, spread gossip, especially if you're getting a lot of attention and abundance and acknowledgement. From someone that you've been praying and you've been asking for, this could be someone going behind your back. Like, like I said, this is someone that could be behind the hate page. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if there's like just an online profile online that be, it's like just an avatar. I don't have no picture or nothing, but be saying all this shady shit and, and be knowing actual facts about you and you be like who the fuck is this person and it's like actually someone that you know that you know that you know that you know mm. there are as many forms as love as there are moments in time and then he's basically saying in regards to that like, even jealousy is a backsided form of love. Someone that admires you so much. You understand? Like, that is a love. You understand? Like, they love something about you so much that they want to possess it in their self. And they can't. And it turns an admiration and a love into hate and animosity and jealousy. You understand? Because in order for someone to be jealous of you, it gotta be something about you that they fucking love and want to possess for themselves, but they don't have the ability to do it. You understand? So there could be no fucking hate without love. You understand? You can't hate somebody without having some type of emotion. It has to come from some level of emotion. Do you understand what I'm saying? So listen. Give me two for patience and two for dreams. And one for Miss Austin. The moon. We got the moon again. So again, intuitively you will be guided like to the man of your dreams. Because again, I do feel like there's something about someone dreaming of getting the right recognition and being truly like celebrated as the queen. As the goddess under the moon. As the empress. You know? Like that's what you truly want. And that's what you're manifesting. And you are going to be intuitively led there. Because any good man with good fortune in his life. Is going to want a good woman. And there are many different. Shows and faces of love. And you never know. You got to let your intuit, intuition guide you. And you know. And you will lead the way. But at the end of the day. And like I said with this. The six of vessels here, there's definitely love coming into your life where it's going to be both giving and receiving to you on both ends. And like I said, you are like the moon goddess and you are fulfilled spiritually. And you're going to be guided like you got it. You understand? You got it. Just be patient. The universe is going to take you exactly where you need to go. And, and still at the end of the day. The five of swords, that also represents like you being smart enough to outsmart your enemy. Being quick with it, being fast, being agile. Do you understand? <laughs> the wheel of fortune in the reverse, the knight of wands. Like someone is really trying to shit on your fucking essence. I do not know why. And then the fool. Okay, you still ain't no fool. You said I'm a fucking wait. Alright. So last cards here. So to clarify the five of arrows and the six of bows. The dream card, you got the wheel of fortune and the reverse, and then you got the knight of wands. So, this has to do with a short lived fantasy, if you will. 
this is like a short-lived fantasy um there's a situation where I, again someone has their aim on you and I feel like they've tried more than just a few times to like kind of take you down either with information gossip um things that they are intentionally doing to sabotage you and to ruin your abundance here um I don't feel like I, I don't feel like you're going to be able to avoid some level of misfortune here I feel like your dreams are most definitely going to give you the signs of who is targeting you what's happening because again the five of swords it definitely means someone trying to outsmart their competitor you know what i'm saying someone with the ability to outsmart your competitor even though that you're being attacked and people are trying to come and hit you with a low bow you still come out successful but it's not going to come without you being have being having to face this unfortunate event this Knight of Wands here is basically saying they're going to come strong, but they ain't going to come hard. You understand? Like, they're not going to be able to withstand the fight. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as shit gets hot, they're going to run away. Like, this is not someone that is strong enough and with a precise aim to fuck with you so like i said you are going to outsmart your competitor and at the end of the day you are still going to come out abundant okay now they sing it's in my head it was all a dream i used to be in word of magazine salt and pepper and heavy d up on <laughs> like it was all a dream like all of this shit is going to come in fast and it's going to go out slow it's going to come in fast. It's going to go out slow. I feel like you're possibly going to be dealing with a struggle or conflict for the next maybe four months or so. But like I said, you're going to come out victorious at the end. And um, it is going to be an unfortunate situation. It is. And I don't feel like you're going to be able to avoid this. Like right now, it's just time for you to deal and face with some shit. But it's not going to be around forever. But with this Ten of Swords, at the end of the day, you're going to have to bury certain things. And realize that it's the end of certain relationships and certain friendships. People that you used to call friends. It's, I really do feel like this has something to do with a friendship. This Knight of Wands is like someone that started a war but really wasn't prepared for the fight. It really was. The Ten of Swords is someone that was backstabbed and betrayed. That really didn't see something coming. Someone came and tried to sabotage them. Really, really, you know what I'm saying? It ended up hurting themselves in the long run because they were not prepared to handle the fight was not prepared they didn't even see it coming but at the same time they didn't have the endurance and they were not prepared to deal with the battle because like i told you they were dealing with the goat the greatest of all time and the goat still comes out the successor the victor and whoever this person is that jumped out there with this jealousy and shit like that they end up being buried with their own burdens buried with their own burdens too envious of someone else instead of bettering their self to get what they want. They spent unnecessary time in their life trying to attack and tear somebody else down if they try to sit in front of their face and act like they were friends and only end up being a victim of their own demise. When success and blessings and everything that you asked for is still coming back to you. Look, you're, you're being reunited with everything and then some that you prayed for. Everything that you're asking for is being received. You have your arms open for more future blessings. You understand? And you're still being given to the universe. That's why intuitively everything is being shown to you. It's like you're almost psychic. Like this is basically you guys being able to intuitively see yourself being in the side of danger. And it's like intuitively like you guys are like psychic and know 
everything, if this person is really trying to backstab and betray me, if this person is really jealous and trying to go and talk to my man or trying to sabotage business deals or trying to outsmart me or they think that I don't know that they're the ones that's spreading this gossip and doing all this shit like that, they, it's, it's being exposed. You understand? And that's why I'm saying, like, you guys have, like, a psychic level of intuition that is being opened up. And, like, God is telling you that if you have any questions about what's going on, just ask me and I will show you. And be patient. And trust yourself that you have the ability to address and to deal with this shit as, you, as needs be. Because at the end of the day... Was this Prince of Chalices here? As you can see, this is the Prince of Chalices card. Okay? But you see, a female, they're longing for the love of this prince. She's just thinking about him. She's manifesting him. She's in a state of wellness and happiness in her life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because she's awaiting these messages, and this is something that she's been praying for, and she's happy about it, and she's excited about it. See, people don't understand actual patience. People don't understand patience and putting, listen, being the correct vessel. If you want that type of love to enter in your life, you have to be a vessel being prepared to receive that type of love. You got to be what it is that you're trying to receive. And that's what this woman has been doing. That's what she's been manifesting. That's what she's been becoming. She has been changing her life to become that good woman, that is successful man. Listen, a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. There are as many forms of love as there are moments in time. She's wishing upon a star like she is becoming that very thing that a good man like that will actually want. And that's why this woman is on this Prince of Chalice card. Because she's waiting for her day. Where this chivalry, this love, this true affection is coming in. But at the same time, she's no fool. She's no fool. She's no fool. She knows that as things go up. Things most definitely can come down. And for some reason, she has a sneaky suspicion that someone is lurking around in the background of her blessings. While she's sitting back trying to manifest, trying to call in all this good positive energy into her life. Something is telling her things are not necessarily going my way. And I feel like it has to do with someone intruding on my blessings. I'm not no fool. I know if I'm doing nothing but putting positive in, I should be getting positive back out. So what the fuck is going on? I don't think this girl has any type of lack of faith. She's not out of rhythm with the universe or nothing like that. So what the fuck is going on? Patience. And it will reveal itself. Because this woman is psychic. She knows something the fuck ain't right. I'm feeling spiritually attacked. I'm feeling like... It's something going on, and it shall, and it will reveal itself. By re but regardless, I'm going to ask God to keep me abundant and keep me blessed and keep me covered, which I shall be, and everything that goes on under the sun or even under the moon will be revealed. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. This king of chalices in the reverse. So... Again, I said something about a water sign. I said something about a water sign. So with this king and chalice is here, what this is basically trying to tell me is that this woman is patient. She feels that she's worthy. She's making sure that everything that she has about her is very becoming, very elegant, and very regal so that she can receive what she's being asked but she's asking for it. She's patient. But like I said, she's not just relying on faith. She's actually putting actions behind everything that she's trying to call into her life. She's no fool. She knows that she has to put actions behind it, right? But it's something about this man not coming or, oh, God. I don't want to say it like that. This man not coming. Oh, 
Ooh, no, that's disgusting. I don't even want to think of nothing like that. I'm getting two different things here. I, I really do feel like someone is dealing with some type of man that um maybe a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. I feel like he might be sneaking around with one of your best friends or one of your family members, y'all. I really do. It's like some uh, about a bad luck and misfortune coming to you, but it's going to be short lived and you're going to end up burying a few people. Because it's like, why the fuck are you even trying to attack me in this way? Like, are you really that fucking jealous? Like, you would, you know what I'm saying? I feel like whoever this man is right here can't be trusted. And I don't feel like she's a fool. And I feel like she's being patient for things to be revealed. Things are going to be revealed to her with this moon card. Things are coming out about this third party situation and I want to say that this woman isn't a fool and she's manifesting a new love and she's being she's being patient but I don't feel like she trusts this man y'all I'm, I'm sorry because I don't know why I just like this is like why y'all uh, why tell me what the heck is going on with this king of chalices with Libra, y'all. Because I'm like, this is like. Clarify the king of chalices, please. Just give me three cards and then I'm going to wrap this up. Here go two. Fucking liar. You got the king of swords in the reverse. So this is someone that is not honorable and not truthful this is someone who would lie at the drop of a dime if they felt like benefits themselves this is someone that doesn't have any type of emotional attachment to anyone they just do whatever and say whatever that they feel like benefits and feeds their soul what is this the seven of pentacles so this is clearly like someone just truly focused on their financial nest egg here um i feel like this person might be stockpiling energy and then what is this here? Here go the five of swords again. The five of swords again. It's like there's an enemy. There's a spy on the camp. There's a spy. It's, it, I feel like this is. There's a fucking spy. There's a spy. There's a spy. There's an enemy on the grounds. It's like. Someone is watching everything and going back and telling someone else. Going back and telling someone else like everything that you're doing. Like someone is jealous. It's like this person is like I feel like an unforeseen enemy. In the patient card it's like. Whoever this person is. This king of swords, this king of cups in the reverse. Number one, this person is emotionally unbalanced. And this person is a liar and manipulator. This person wouldn't tell the truth even if it would save their soul. This person is this, this stocks, stockpiles energy for safekeeping. Um, I guess it's someone that would try to but not be like monopolize your time and things like that and want you to kind of invest in what they're doing and want you to wait on them and, and see if you will reap your investments and things like that but this is a comment like this person will lie to you to get you to invest in into what they're trying to sell you or what they want you to believe in and like Again, like I said, everything that they're trying to sell you, everything that they're trying to bring to you is a fucking con and some manipulation. They're trying to one-up you. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to manipulate you. They're trying to, like, sabotage your finances. Like, this this could be someone, like, trying to steal your savings and trying to, you know, like, watching your money, watching your crops, watching your growth, watching your abundance, like, paying attention to, like, how you invest your time and your money. And it's like you're the greatest. You're the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? Like this is someone that is trying to infiltrate on your dreams. Like they want all of the blessings and the admiration. They want it for themselves. 
they wanted for their self. The good fortune that came to you, they wanted to be short-lived. They really wanted to be short-lived. But you're not a fool. And I really do feel like you are seeing this type of shit being. And now I'm feeling like it's a man. I'm feeling like it's a fucking man. I feel like this is some type of man trying to live off of your blessings. And they feel like you stupid. And like anything that they say to you that you're just like high on every word that they say. And that you're gullible and things like that. But they have no idea that you don't even have any faith in them. And you see them for their emotional manipulation. You see them for their verbal lies fallacies and fairy tales you see them expecting you to sit there and wait and keep investing you see them trying to hurt you in the end and sacrifice you only for their better gain like i really really do this woman is intuitive she knows everything i don't see the high priestess here but i definitely do see the high priestess sitting right here on this goddamn moon. she knows everything And I really do feel like if there is someone that is having problems with truly addressing this, like you really need to ask God to clarify what you're seeing. Because I feel like someone intuitively feels like something is going on, like someone is trying to ruin them or someone is trying to do something that is going to hurt them. The five of swords keep coming up, baby girl. That's like a low blow attack. That's like a attack that you don't see coming. Like someone trying to uppercut you. Like that's like your friend standing right next to you. Like oh yeah trying to talk to you. Blah 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 the whole time. You think they cool. And they done set you up. Have someone come up from behind you. And, and, and snatch your purse and stuff like that. And you don't even know that your friend set up the robbery. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the whole time your friend holding you. Oh my god I can't believe that happened to you. But once y'all go home and shit like that. This motherfucker meet up with the motherfucker that just robbed you for your purse. And they split up the money. Do you understand what I'm saying? Watch your environment. And I'm trying to tell you. There's going to be an end of some relationship or friendship. And it looks like it has to do with some type of man. It could be some type of man that you're admiring right now. And I'm, I'm still, and I'm, so, I'm serious about this, some type of involvement with a family or friend. There's like some type of family or friend. Somebody is fucking jealous, y'all. Anyway, y'all help me make this make sense. I love you guys. Y'all hit the like button if this resonated with y'all at all. If y'all want a person, y'all know what to do. Hit me up on Instagram, baby. I love you. And if there's anything that you have a question about, ask and you shall receive, baby. Okay? Peace.